Come on, wake it up, wake it up, boy. You already know it's Diesel Talk. Hey, I'm back, man. You know what I'm saying? I just took a little week off, you know, YouTube. You know, just to, you know, take care of a few things. You know, sometimes everything don't need to be documented, you know. And just moving here, there, everywhere. And you know, you get fatigued at times. But we back, boy. But we jumping off into it straight like this. Because while I'm out and about, and I'm going to different places, experiencing, you know, new people, being around people that are associates of people that I know, it's a whole bunch of selective politicking that goes on in this world, and it's sad. And we're just not talking about with no gang shit. We, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to address that, too. We talk about, you know, friends you have that might treat this person different and treat that person different. It's like they don't have no structure and they don't stand on anything they self and they select on, on, on who they treat wrong. And this is what we think, this is what it's coming to in this day and time. And I'm telling you like this, and we're gonna go with the gang stuff because the selective politics, because we know how that is. If one person is 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 is, is feel like he can bully or dominate somebody in any type of way. He picks and chooses who he does those type of things to. No, you want to stay away from those people. You feel me? We going into a new year. It's getting ready to be 2024. You got to humble yourself, discipline yourself, and stay away from those people. See, a lot of times, all the selective politicking, you know what a lot of it revolves around? It because people want they, 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 they gangsterism to be placed in the 80s or early 90s. And we're not in that day and time anymore. And people want that back. So people want to try to portray an image that's not them at all. And they didn't even come from that era. And even if they did, they still might not have been that person. So now they put on the gangster costume and they feel like they can do this to that person and not do it to this person. Or it's just the same thing like we saying in this damn time, how snitching is the norm. People got to accept that. If you don't do that, right? You stand on that, and that's your own belief system. But as far as you want everybody to rock like, oh, no, I don't tell. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Normal citizens are going to tell. So if you get yourself involved in something with a normal citizen or even a so-called homie, chances are they're going to rat on you. So don't be mad at them. Be mad at yourself for conducting business with them or doing whatever you do. Because that's what I mean. We in a day and time where people want them, them days back where a snitch would get hurt in the 80s. You feel me? In the early 90s. You couldn't just come back to your neighborhood. Probably damn near nowhere around America. I don't care if you're in LA. I don't care if you're in Miami, Chicago, Louisiana. You couldn't do those type of things and get away with it. New York. But now you can because it's the norm and it's becoming the norm more and more and more and more. And you have to adjust your mind to not be stagnated. And you got to look out your binoculars, out your own eyes and see what's going on. And see, that's what a lot of people don't want to. They don't want to come face to face and look at the problem and say, you know what? It's 2023 right now. It's a whole different day in time. You feel me? And people my age. They got to admit that to themselves. Because when you walk out that door, you should know what's going on. You should be looking out your goggles and knowing what's going on because that's how you're going to attack the world. That's how you're going to navigate. That's how you're going to build your success. That's how you're going to open up doors because you are admitting what's going on here, going out here in the world. See this damn time right now? I don't care who's telling. You know why? You know why? Because I don't put myself... And I don't put myself and place myself in those type of situations for somebody to tell on me. And I'm not putting myself in a situation and I'm hanging out with dudes that 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 don't told on this dude and told on that dude and got all these bad names. See, no, this is why it's all a gumbo pot. With this, especially with this gang hood shit, hood shit, quote unquote. It's a gumbo pot. You got people all online wanting to be hard. Everybody. Everybody's not like that. And this is the thing in this damn time, you can come off and portray that on the internet and just fake it like that. But see, shit like this, look, man, when I'm out, like I was just at the Slauson, swap me, and I'm walking out. This is this is this is what happened. I'm walking out. As soon as I'm going to my car, a dude and his girl said, they cool as a motherfucker, though. They was cool as a motherfucker, but guess what? Be 
By the time I'm looking at something else, I'm looking at something else, and all of a sudden I hear, wake it up, wake it up, boy, him and his girl. Wake it up, wake it up, boy, it's diesel talk. See, you could run into anybody, especially when you're out in traffic. And these are people I said, man, how'd you know my, you know, because I'm my, my channel's small. I only got, uh, what, 2,000, I think, 60 some subscribers. You know, we going up, though. We going up, though. But it shocked me because it's true what they always say. And when you get into it, you'll understand it that I'm talking to the world. So people going to know me and I don't know them. People, if you fucking with YouTube and you're on the Internet and you, 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 you trying to become an influencer or you are an influencer, it's true what they say. You never know who you bump into, but they vibe was good. But you're going to bump into people and they vibe be bad. But I had to, that's what I'm saying, I had to check myself. And see, because whatever you dish out, you got to be able to take. You feel me? And you got to stand on what you say. Because just like if they was on some bullshit with me, I had to stand on what I, whatever I say. What if they went on no, wake it up, wake it up, diesel talk. What they like, oh, that's that fool diesel. Man, he said, woo, 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 this and that, woo, 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 woo. They did all that. I have to be prepared for it. Or unless I shouldn't say anything. But this is what type of stuff that can happen in real life from the internet. That's one of my G homies said, the less you say, the less you have to take back. And that's so true, man. So I just want y'all to think about that, man. Don't interact with people, man. That talk about this person, and it, it's easy. We all say we ain't gonna do it, and then next you know you catch a motherfucker, he hanging out with woo woo, and you know he did this, you know he did that. No, stay clear, tunnel vision on what you need to do. Open the doors up, build more resources. You feel me on what you're doing? Don't be getting caught in the crowds, the selective politicking, and that means on anything, because when a person distributes them characteristics, they showing they're no good motherfucker. Because they're not treating everybody the same, everybody appropriate. And that's what I was saying when I was leaving out the Slauson. Because I done said this, I done said that before. So what if it's on the flip side and motherfuckers want to trip me? Am I going to be, oh, 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 oh? Nah. You shouldn't have said anything. You shouldn't have got yourself that far and deeply involved. You feel me? Straight. You never going to know who's who. It's diesel talk, man. Y'all learn this shit. Wake this shit up. Boy!